Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on the eve of the third Sunday after Easter, which also will be St. Mark's Day. We actually are going to be using the propers, the collect, epistle, and gospel uh, found in the Book of Common Prayer for St. Mark's Day tomorrow. And I hope you will be joining us. Uh, the service is at 930 and it will be a special service in as much as it will be an instructed Eucharist. This is a Holy Communion service with a commentary that goes along with it, which will enable uh, all of us to understand better uh, the Supper of the Lord. So please do plan to join us tomorrow uh, for an instructed Eucharist here at St. Luke's Church, Blue Ridge, Georgia, in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, we begin our worship this evening with hymn 166, Son of my soul, thou Savior dear, it is not night if thou be near. be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess so many false sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice under the throne of the heavenly grace, say after me. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. 
We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults, Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declaring to mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant a most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalms for the 24th day, evening, beginning on page 400. 89 in the Book of Common Prayer. We sit for the Psalms. Blessed are those that are undefiled in the way and walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and seek him with their whole heart. Even they who do no wickedness and walk in his ways. Thou hast charged that we shall diligently keep thy hands. Oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep thy statutes. So shall I not be confounded while I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will thank thee with an unfainted heart when I shall have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way, even by ruling himself after thy word? With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not go wrong out of thy commandments. Thy word have I hid within my heart, that I should not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, O teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of thy mouth. I have had as great delight in the way of thy testimonies as in all manner of riches. I will talk of thy commandments and have respect unto thy ways. My delight shall be in thy statutes, and I will not forget thy word. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, 
baptism of the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, do well unto thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may see the wondrous things of thy law. I am a stranger upon earth. O oh, hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh out for the very fervent desire that it hath always unto thy judgments. Thou hast rebuked the proud, and cursed are they that do err from thy commandments. O oh, turn from me shame and rebuke, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant is occupied in thy statutes. For thy testimonies are my delight and my counselors. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My soul cleaveth to the dust. O oh, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have acknowledged my ways, and thou hast Oh, oh, teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy commandments, and so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth away for very heaviness. Comfort thou me according unto thy word. Take from me the way of lying, and cause thou me to make much of thy law. I have chosen the way of truth, and thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies. O Lord, confound me not. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou hast set my heart at liberty. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the fifth verse of the 45th chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, thou hast not known me that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What makest thou, or thy work? He hath no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begettest thou, or to the woman? What hast thou brought forth? Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his maker. Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. Command ye me. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens and all their hosts have I commanded. Verily, thou art a God that hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he hath created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in the dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, 
Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, ye that are escaped of nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye, and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a, go a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, in the Lord have I righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Here end the first lesson. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and to the, and to the Son, Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Here beginneth the eighth verse of the fifth chapter of the first epistle general of St. Peter. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resisteth steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, a faithful brother unto you, as I suppose, I have written briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God wherein ye stand. The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus, my son. Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you 
all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Here ended the second lesson. The knock demitteth the song of Simeon. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is Thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us. And take not Thy Holy Spirit from us. O Almighty God, who hast instructed Thy Holy Church with the heavenly doctrine of Thy evangelist, St. Mark, Give us grace that being not like children carried away with every blast of vain doctrine, we may be established in the truth of thy holy gospel. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who showest to them that are in error the light of thy truth, to the intent that they may return into the way of righteousness. Grant unto all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion that they may avoid those things that are contrary to their profession and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, from whom all holy <coughs> desires, all good counsel, and all just works do proceed, Give it to thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thine only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land, and so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory and that we and all the people, duly considering whose authority they bear, may faithfully and obediently honor them according to thy blessed word and ordinance through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, 
send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the hopeful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort them and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we thy unworthy worthy servants, do give, give thee most humble and hearty thanks, thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thy inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.